Okay, so the add-on for the mobility stuff that we did last week. Uh, today we focused on wrists, we focused on elbows. We found that when we started working that wrist and elbow, it changed a lot of strength in, in the same side knee. So it was left and left. Um, so this is how we're going to do it. Uh, after you've done all your, your arm circles, we're going to go into the elbow. If you grab a ball, it just saves your wrist um, compensating around in the wrist. Uh, rotate it all the way out, elbow in, come to full flexion, rotate it all the way in, all the way down to full extension. Nothing cheating through the top of the shoulder or through the elbow. Very pure. And once you've done three of those, you're going to go the opposite way. So knuckles stay up as you rotate in and flex, rotate all the way around and extend. Fully extends all the way up and all the way up, full extension. We then went down into the wrists. Now, the wrists have a habit of cheating, uh, so we decided that if we kept the elbow in and we gripped onto the wrist there, we could keep it pretty stable. I'm going to come in close. And we were looking at the wrist joint as opposed to the finger joints, which means that we don't want to see the fingers doing all of the motion. We come up, we rotate it in, or uh, out, sorry. We came down, we rotate it in. So we're working through that full circle there. We did three or four, and then we went back the other way. Then from there, we looked at some variations. So we did this one where we locked two fingers in, put two fingers out, did exactly the same thing, and back the other way, and you can play with any var variation you want within that as well. So jam with that. If anything feels pretty icky from left to right, or feels tight from left to right, that's the one to play with and do a little extra work in there. From there, the 1990, and no, let's do popliteus first and all the knee joints, rotation stuff. If I bring this down, a mini squeal. So we were looking at rotation in your left knee joint. So I'm going to demonstrate with the mirror image. We locked on so that the thigh couldn't do all the rotation. The way we did that, we took the outside hand, gave it a great big hug underneath, and then just locked over the top with this hand. So it stops the thigh moving, and then sit up nice and tall. We locked up the, uh, the ankle joint by pulling the foot up. Then we rotated the shin in. Fully extended it, rotated it out, fully flexed it. And again, we did this two or three times that way, then we reversed it round. So we kept it external as we extended, internal as we brought it in. Maybe three of those. Then 1990s, lovely little way to build some strength as well as some flexibility into those hips. So we took you into the 1990 position. Front leg straight out. Back leg, straight out to the side. Knee joint, 90 degrees. Knee joint, 90 degrees. We found if you tried to hold yourself up there, we cramped in that outside thigh. So we put one hand down, which allowed us to, to take a bit of stretch off of there. A bit, a bit of contraction off of there. Uh, so from there, the way we built the stretch, we took the navel forwards through space. As the navel comes forwards, the back stays. Great, so that gives us a stretch in the front hip. From there, we thought about pulling that front hip, the front thigh back into the hip joint, which built the stretch even more. And then we imagine having that light touch between your buttock cheeks, and we're just gonna shine it up the back wall, which will tilt the pelvis forwards. If you had water in the front of it, it would tip it out. Um, when you found that stretch, hold it for about 30 seconds to a minute. And then we built the contraction in there. So with the front leg, we push the whole of the front shin down into the floor, which is gonna work muscles in that hip. And imagine a dial on a pair of old scales going up as you push down, but freeze in this position so you're still in stretch. Hold for a count of 10. Um, I think we were doing about 40%, but you can start building that contraction to push down even harder to get a bit more into there. And when you've done your 10 seconds, um, we relaxed it, but what you can do is you can go a little further into the stretch. So imagine trying to tip water 
a little further out the front, the torch a little further up the wall behind you, build the new stretch, hold for 10 seconds in there, and then ease off and do the other side. Cool, enjoy them, see you next time.